Welcome back to another grocery haul. I'll be showing you what I eat when I work a 9 to 5. Let's start with some vegetables. Bok choy and yutre are quick vegetables that you can fry up with your meals. I also got some snap peas. And I want to make a coconut curry stir fry with the broccoli and cauliflower. I did buy a bunch of dill. I'm not going to use it all in one sitting. So I will wash it, chop it, and then just freeze it. Same thing with the cilantro. To get a little bit more variety throughout the weeks, um, I also like to chop up some romaine lettuce, bell peppers, cherry tomatoes. Um, and some other vegetables that I might have in the fridge make it into a salad and that will be quick and easy for um, as a side for a dinner I also like trying herbs with my food so this week I'm thinking about making a soup which I will most likely add thyme um, and also very easy to fry up some mushrooms I really like getting green onions because you can actually regrow them at home. Um, right over here you could see I chopped up the green parts and then put the roots in a little bit of water every second day to switch up the water and it will continue to grow. You'll be able to get three to four uses out of the green onions. I accidentally ordered a whole head of red cabbage so what I decided to do was just cut them up into small pieces and freeze them. Here I just have the basics, the onions and some lemon and garlic. Highly used when you're making a lot of curries. I am not a big fan of tofu but I try my best every three to four months to order it again to see if it can try a different recipe which I could probably enjoy more. I like to keep avocados just because you can make a quick and easy avocado toast or even a guac. And hummus makes a quick and easy snack with bell peppers, carrots, or you could put it in a falafel. And I tend to keep some sort of cheese in the fridge. I also keep some bananas, apples, and kiwis, but as I start running out of fruits, I'll just go and buy some more throughout the week favorite part the baked goods um, I got the strawberry pie filling I used this one to put it on top of my cheesecake I did get some pecans because I want to try a maple pecan crusted chicken some gelatin for baking cakes and some chocolate chips for chocolate chip cookies some canned items that I tend to keep are crushed tomatoes can make an easy butter chicken or some pasta sauce I keep coconut milk and coconut cream to make some coconut cream cakes as well as some chickpeas for salads on the side. Potatoes and rice are just a staple. However, this time I do want to make a leek and potato soup. So I decided to get some leek at the same time with this order. I almost always tend to include pita bread and some frozen falafels because when you don't have time after working a 9 to 5 you could take this out of the freezer, warm it up and eat that. Here are some other protein options. I got some shrimps, some turkey as well as chicken thighs. I do freeze them so I only take them out as needed. I'll keep tortillas on hand just because they do tend to last a little longer. You could also make chicken wrap or even shrimp wrap. Because I was thinking about making a leek and potato soup, I got some vegetable broth as well. A few spices that I wanted to stock back on was some tandoori masala and pao bhaji masala. Also keeping some taco seasoning on hand is very useful you always need this soap so this was on sale therefore I got the value size and lastly some cornflakes 
Thanks for watching my grocery haul. I hope you got some ideas and inspiration for your next grocery adventure or even some meal ideas. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.